Hey guys, welcome to AB Auto. Now, this is not a video I plan to make, but it's not a total disaster, so don't worry. But basically, earlier in this week, I was on my way to work and my check engine light came on here in the CLA 45S. And to be honest, it was a very interesting experience and I actually learned a lot about what to do in this type of situation. And I wanted to make a quick video telling you exactly what happened, what I did, what I shouldn't have done, what I should have done, and just really talk you through everything I've learned just in case this happens to you. So it all started in the morning, really. I was on my way to work. I was just heading out as normal. And all of a sudden on the digital dash, an error message popped up saying SOS not active. Now I've had this before. I'm not too fussed about SOS. So I just continued to drive. And then another warning message popped up. This time it was the lane keeping assist. It said lane keeping assist deactivated. I thought to myself, oh, that's strange, but you know, kept going. And then another warning message popped up, collision detection assist no longer active. And it seemed like all the um, systems were slowly shutting down in the car. So I started to get a bit concerned. And then things got really bad and a warning message that I've never seen before. It was kind of like a not very well designed message. So you knew it was a technical one. It popped up and it said traction control systems all deactivated, pull over, take car to a workshop. And I just thought to myself, oh, that is not good. So I pulled over like any sensible person would, got out of the car, had a quick check round and everything seemed fine. There was no signs of any foul play or anything on the car. To me, it was some kind of internal computer glitch. So I got back in the car, started the engine back up and all the warning messages were gone. But then as I started to drive away, I noticed a new icon on the dash I've never seen before and it was the check engine light. Now check engine is usually the most scary warning light you have in your car, but to be honest, sometimes it can be something like just a little glitch that needs resetting. It could just be a sensor that's broken. It really could mean that the car's absolutely fine and it just wants you to check the engine just to be sure. So on my commute to work, I'm actually quite lucky and I drive past a Mercedes-Benz dealership. So I decided to start the car back up and drive and just take it to the Mercedes-Benz dealership. You know, I thought, let's get this checked out by a professional. You know, I don't like the idea of the engine like being on and running the car. So we'll just get there as soon as possible and fingers crossed they can help us out. So I took the car to Mercedes-Benz. I got there, I went in. They were very kind, they were very nice to me. Um, they said that if I leave the car there, they could perhaps have a look at it, but they were very busy, which I absolutely appreciated because I just showed up unannounced. But the problem was is I needed to get to work and I didn't have a second car ready. And if any of you guys have ever been to a Mercedes dealership before, you'll know there's always a long wait for courtesy cars. So if you're gonna book in a service or a visit, you always have to book it weeks in advance. So there was no chance of them lending me a car. But what they did say was that if you actually use the Mercedes breakdown recovery service, they actually have a system where they can get you a recovery car the same day. So just to cut a long story short, what I ended up doing was is I left the dealership because they weren't able to help me. You know, no bad feelings there. I completely understood. They were very nice about it. Left the dealership, uh, thought I'd just drive the car just to check if it was okay. I drove it all the way to work. All the safety systems functioned. The car felt absolutely fine. It just had that check engine light on. And I thought to myself, this is absolutely fine. It just needs someone to log in with a computer, hook up to the car, check for any errors and then erase them. And I think it's just the engine light's gonna stay on until we do that because you know that's a safe and responsible way. You know, If you have a serious fault like that, the engine light's gonna stay on until it's been properly checked out. So once I got to work, I called the free breakdown recovery service from Mercedes-Benz. Now I'm looking into this currently because I'm not 100% sure, but if you own any Mercedes-Benz, even if it's 20 years old, as long as that car has been serviced every year at a genuine Mercedes dealership, you actually get free breakdown recovery, no matter how old the car is. And of course, in this case, this car's not even a year old, so I have that under warranty anyway, but that's an interesting fact. I'm gonna look further into that because I'm not 100% sure, but that's what I've been told. So I phoned them up, they were very nice, spoke to me. They said that they would send a Mercedes specialist my way as soon as possible. I basically said to them, look, if there's people waiting for recovery, go to them first because I'm at work now and you can look at it in the workplace. And you know, they were great about it. And yeah, it did take a few hours, but I'm sure if I was stranded by the road somewhere, they would have come much faster. So while I was at work, the guy turned up, he was a proper Mercedes specialist. He had all the equipment. He was such a nice guy. We, you know, we were chatting about AMGs and cars for a while. We even talked about the YouTube channel with him. He was great to talk to and he seriously knew his stuff. Um, he basically hooked the car up to his machines, you know, all the Mercedes certified parts. He checked all the error logs. He said the car was absolutely fine. Um, there was no warning messages or anything on the computer. So um, yeah, all he needed to do was just flash it and reset it and get rid of the errors. So 
The CLA45S is absolutely fine, so there's no worries about that. You know, I didn't want to scare you guys with the thumbnail, but the whole purpose of this video was is don't take your car to a Mercedes-Benz dealership if you have a problem. Call the breakdown recovery service because it's absolutely brilliant. I cannot rate it any higher. The service I received was so good and the dealership, they couldn't help me, but just to say as well, you know, if there was any serious problems with the car, they were gonna get me a higher vehicle same day. They would have actually come to me, they would have taken the car away, and then they would have bought me a Mercedes-Benz hire car. So absolutely fantastic service. And to think that every single brand new Mercedes has this, and even some really old Mercedes if they've been maintained by Mercedes themselves. So guys, if you ever do need to use this service, there's two ways of doing it. You can either phone up with the number I'll pop on the screen now. Now this is the UK version of the service. So if you're across the States or anywhere else, um, you'll have to look online for a specific number. So please don't dial this one because it might be expensive. But some cars actually have a button inside the car as well. So up here, depending on what car you've got, you might even see like a little cog or it might have the Mercedes Me logo. So here in the CLA45S, there's a button here with Mercedes Me. Now, if you press that button, it phones up using uh, your phone in your car, and it will actually take you through to multiple services. And one of them is the breakdown recovery service. So there we have it, guys. I really just wanted to share that with you. Uh, just wanted to walk you through my experience, assure you that the CLA45S is fine. I'm still absolutely loving this car. It's been brilliant. There's been no problems at all, aside from the error message there, but really, you know, I just wanted to share my story just in case anyone is in the same situation so you know exactly what to do. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you next time.